Alright guys, DJ Dan one and today I'm going to be doing a video on Freestyler DMX for beginners. Now, I did a guide on this before, but it was several videos and it was kind of hard to understand because of the quality of the videos that was recorded off the screen and no screen recorders or anything. So I thought I'd do a nice one for you now. And I'm going to take it right back to the basics and be using a free channel light like a Jelly Dome, a Starball or a Parkhand. So if you're a beginner, I recommend you go out and grab maybe your power can that you've got or something with free channels. Just to follow this guide, try out and get used to the layout of Freestyler, which is what I'm going to show you. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do this is your DMX dongle. Now, one of these has a USB on one end and the dongle on the other with the XLR or DMX device. Or you might have a box. Um, it's the same thing. Basically, one end, your USB end, is going to go into your computer. So I'll plug that into the computer. And you'll have a little chime. And your DMX end is going to go, bear with me, into the DMX in on your light fixture. Now then we're going to go ahead and open Freestyler. This does take a second to load. I'm currently running version of 3.4.6 Freestyler. And as you can see, when it opens, it will recognise the device is plugged in and it will black the light out. So, to set this up so we're ready to go, you're going to want to first go to Freestyler Setup, Freestyler Setup, and just make sure your device is selected and everything's good. Um, if it's all selected, all opened, all working, good. You're going to want to hit save, go to add remove fixtures, then go down to uh, the manufacturer, so mine's American DJ. And then I'm gonna, you're going to want to find your light, so I've got the jelly dome. So I'm going to press the little arrow there. Now this is very good, if you've got more than one fixture, uh, you can select auto address and select how many fixtures you've got and then that will automatically set the DMX address if the lights are digital. If they're analog I'll show you a cool trick. So mine's are analog and I've only got one fixture so I'm just going to add one in. Uh, because mine's analog you'll need to do it by the dip switches. Now I'm not very good with adding up the dip switches so if you just select the fixture you've added in, so my one it will tell you what your dip switches have to be set to right down here and as you can see mine says it has to be set to 1 so I've set mine to 1 there and once you've done that all your fixtures are added in you can add any more fixtures if you've got them you can press close now the next thing you're going to want to do is to bring up your windows um, which is basically on most DMX programs or a DMX controller you'll have channels which will look like those, your shutter, your color and your rotation now a very easy way to get control of those in Freestyler which is what's so great about the program is to press window and O and it will give you your color your shutter which is your lamp window and your rotation which is your gobo window and depending on the light you'll have different windows but it's all basically the same procedures so first thing you will need to do is to activate the lamp so to do this you're going to want to press open now when you turn open on you'll have your gobos so it's automatically on green so as you can see if you wanted to change your colour you could go into the gobo window and basically select blue and as I'm doing this you can see it's changing the channel values on the actual DMX faders here so that's what's so brilliant. It, this program just makes it so simple for you to control your DMX fixtures. So uh, you can go green, blue, red, white, green and blue, green and red, green and white, blue and red, blue and white, white and red, blue, green and red, blue, white and green, green, blue and white right at the end 
and then you've got a mixture of green, red and white and green, white and red So, and you've also got your green and red there as well so you've got a nice way to access all your colours and it will set the valley straight away and you don't have to worry about messing around with the values over here um, the next window, so say I set it to red if you wanted to control the rotation you've got your no rotation which is zero on the rotation or it's actually set to five on the values so then in order you've got your uh, fastest rotation that's a clockwise so fast rotation clockwise medium rotation clockwise a slow rotation clockwise and then you go into anti-clockwise on this fixture so you've got slow rotation anti-clockwise medium rotation anti-clockwise or fast rotation anti-clockwise I'm going to set mine to a slow clockwise rotation and the last one here is music so basically that will release it from DMX mode briefly so you can tap with a unit and it will pick up the sound using the built in microphone there's also a feature on here which I'll do a video on at some point on how to access the sound on your laptop to use the sound detector which is very cool so we'll set it back to our rotate on the red now down here on the lamp window you'll see you've got uh, your closed and your open, so closed is lamp off, opens lamp on. And down here you've got your off, low, medium and high buttons. Now, as I said, everything over here is controlled. So your shutter, um, your shutter is your lamp up to uh, 199. Once it goes past 199, it goes into strobe mode. And this is very easy. So to activate a fast strobe, you hit low to activate a medium strobe you hit medium and to activate a very slow strobe you go high so it's kind of backwards so lows very fast medium is medium and high is actually a very slow and staggered out strobe I don't want a strobe on this point so I'm going to hit off and I'm going to turn my lamp on. So we've got that in a slow rotation and we know how to use all of the windows. Now up here on the top there are some very nice buttons you can use as well. If you want to black out the fixture um, but keep everything ready so you can just whack it on and off you can hit this button up here and I'll just zoom in on that for you. You can press this button up here and that will allow you to black it, toggle black on toggle blackout on and off so you can hit that and as you can see it's blacking out the fixture and blacking it off if that makes sense uh, you can also freeze it so that no matter what you do on anything else that fixture isn't going to change what it's doing and that's some very cool features you can do there and there's also another way to access the windows up here so if you just want a colour window just press color. Uh, there's one for lamp, which is there, and you can do all sorts of things with that. So the next thing most people want to do is to make a actual show. And to do this, you want to go to window and create sequence. Now this is very easy way. This is a very easy way to actually create your fixtures, nice and simple without any hassle of having to know your channel values or anything um, so first thing you can do as you can see up here it's got 1000 1000 now 1000 is basically a second so that's uh, one and a half seconds two seconds three seconds four seconds five seconds and that's how long it takes fade between them and I'll set five seconds on my speed as well I'll actually probably have two and a half Okay, so that's your fade between your f um, scenes and your speed the speed of your scenes. So I'm going to want the speed of my scenes to be 
a bit longer. I'm going to want it about six seconds. So I'm going to set that to six. Okay. And then if you press global fade and global scene, what that means is it's going to be the same across all your scenes. Um, and every scene is going to have five seconds fade and five seconds speed on it. Uh, so you're going to want that to be on there if you're doing a very simple show. So I've set it to that. And what I'm going to call this is as me and Jamie did before, the Magic Plus. So what we're going to do is you can basically design your scenes using the windows over here. So I'm going to want to start with, I'm going to keep it on my red on a slow rotate. And I'm going to press plus. So now that's going to go to scene 2, and for my second scene, I'm going to want to add some green into that red to make it yellow. So I'm going to add that, but I want it to stop rotating. So I'm going to add that. Then I'm going to want it to rotate really fast, but have all colours on, so I'm going to want a white light. So I'll set that there. And I'm also going to want it to strobe very slowly. And then, I'm going to want it to get a little bit slower. And then I'm going to want it to get slower. Magic Plus. Then I'm going to want it to stop rotating and I'm going to want the light to be permanently on and I'm going to press the magic plus again so I've just designed seven scenes and to watch what they do we can hit the two arrows there just to demo what I've made so we'll cut to five, it'll change to the yellow one, two, three, four, five it'll change to that last scene where it's strobing on white Then it will stop and get slower. Then the light will come on. And it will stay on. On white. So I'm just going to press that there to stop it playing. And if we're all happy with that, um, we can go ahead and save it. If you wanted to delete maybe uh, the seventh scene, you can go through your scenes here, um, and it will show you what the scene actually is. And you go through them like that, and I'm on scene seven. So I just want to scroll through them here. And it does give you a sample of the scene so you know which one you're editing. So you just wait for that to finish sampling. And then you just scroll through it. Six. And seven. So I don't want that last scene anymore where it just sits on white. So what I'm going to do is to delete that, you just press the red X, and as you see it's now only got six scenes. So that's all good, I'm all happy with that now, and I want to uh, save that. So I'm going to save that as uh, the free channel show. And you've got these two buttons here, now these are very important, what you're going to want to do press add to queue and add to buttons and you're going to want to press save. Alright guys, Dahan here and that should be all the beginner steps you need to be able to uh, set up, use the windows, uh, make a scene and save the scene of the show and if you want to know how to actually have that so you can play it, which obviously you do, I'll put a video response to the how to use the queue window controls down there and I'll also pop it in the description for you. Practice and enjoy.